There are millions and millions of people worldwide who have a hard time getting to sleep, as well as myself. Our mind is active, the temperature in our room may be off, the amount of clothing we're wearing may be too hot or maybe even too cold. I want to share something that's very interesting, something that you can do at home right now to make a tremendous physiological change in your body so you can get to sleep fast. And when we first awaken in the morning, our cortisol levels continue to get higher and higher. And those cortisol levels do a lot of physiological changes for our body, giving us lots of energy, making our thinking really keen and just ready to take on the day. But as our day continues to go on, as night approaches, our cortisol levels start to slowly drop more and more and more. And as it gets later through the night, and as we approach that darkness in our bedroom, melatonin secreted from the pineal gland within our brain. That works within our circadian rhythm to help us get to sleep real fast. But why is it that so many people continue to have so many difficulties getting to sleep? And there are several reasons, but two main things I want to share with you. One, our body secretes less melatonin from our brain as we get older. And two, it has so much to do with our core temperature that during the day, our core temperature is at 98.6. And as we go to bed, our core temperature is supposed to drop a couple degrees. And studies have found that as our temperature drops, that's when our brain and our body start to sleep the easiest. And so it makes sense that if we warm our feet, wearing our socks to bed, using heat on our feet, taking a foot bath, we're going to increase more circulation into our feet. That's going to bring more heat and more heat's going to escape. And that's going to lower our core body temperature as well as our organs, which is going to get us to sleep very fast. And what's interesting is that those that had warmer feet, particularly those that wore socks or had their feet covered, fell asleep faster and stayed asleep longer than those who had colder feet. And if you're one that hates wearing socks to bed, there's a few things you can do. Just about 15, 20 minutes of warming up those feet within an hour before you go to bed will make a tremendous difference to get you to sleep real fast. Wearing warm slippers, putting your socks on even before you go to bed, heating it up with a heating pad, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so, using a hot water bottle, just putting covers on top of your feet. You can be creative, it doesn't matter. The whole idea is to make this physiological change to bring blood circulation into the feet, to warm the feet up, to lower the core temperature, so your mind and body will relax, so you can get to sleep real fast. And if you are one of the many millions of people who just have bad circulation in your feet, in your hands, in your fingers, by warming up your feet can make a tremendous difference. Even females going through menopause, having hot flashes, this can be a great asset for you, not only helping you with your symptoms, but getting you to sleep real fast as well. So I challenge you, heat up your feet within an hour before you go to bed, 10, 15 minutes as we discussed, or wear socks or cover up your feet. As you warm up those feet, you're going to get vasodilation, increased blood supply. Heat is going to start being released out of the feet as the core temperature will continue to drop a couple degrees. That will put you to sleep. And so you can sleep deeply through the night and wake up refreshed and ready to take on the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. I really hope it makes a tremendous change with you, your loved ones, so you can get to sleep and feel refreshed and stay healthy. And I wish you only good health. May you only sleep deeply. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.